Hello, welcome everyone to The Distraction here on Fightful. I am Jeremy Lambert, joined with a very special guest today. I have been a fan of this person since season one of 90 Day Fiance, Paola Mayfield. Paola Blaze, how are you? Hi, how are you? And thank you so much for having me. I am I am doing well. Again, like I said, I've been watching you since season one of 90 Day Fiance, since the toss, toss, toss. I remember all of that. <laughs> uh, so, so I've got to ask, how did the transition from reality television work going into uh, professional wrestling? Uh, well, I I don't know. I think it hasn't been that easy. I, I feel that my fans are not that excited about that transition. So people uh, actually uh, support me. Others don't support me because they don't understand that. But I feel like uh, when you see about wrestling and reality TV, I'm not saying that it's the same, but it's kind of related. But the, with the only difference, like, it requires a lot of, like, strength and physical and being in a physical a good shape uh but i really like it i feel like it brings up my my personality and that personality like from the show and who i am on the ring is kind of like the same person so it kind of helps <laughs> I got it. When I saw you were getting into wrestling earlier this year, I was like, I have to write this article right now. Like, I'm, again, big fan of the show. I was like, I got to write this. I'm going to follow everything you do. So I've been I've been very excited about everything. Uh, you know, you've been comfortable on the camera with 90 Day Fiance. Is it kind of the same being uh, in front of a, a wrestling camera? I, to be honest, no. Uh, I get every time that I go on, uh, like, we do tapings. Uh, and so they try not to always tell me like, hey, don't forget the cameras are there. Just try to play along with them. But when I get into the ring, I get so focused on doing like, uh, like to be me, to to fight, to give all about the fiery. And I forget that the cameras are around and I, I forget to play with them. Like compared with the show, the cameras are always on my face. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like I haven't been able to mix both to get used to like that. Oh, there are cameras in there. It's not just the two opponents fighting against each other. They are also like people waiting to see that on TV. So I need to get used to that. I, they'll always tell you, look for the, the hard cam or the red light and everything when it comes to wrestling. Um, you, you mentioned that the fan base, maybe they, they were like, oh, why is she getting into wrestling? Uh, detractors and everything. A long time ago, Mike The Miz, he transitioned from reality television into, into wrestling. A lot of detractors when it came to that. So what have you found when it comes to, whether it's your own fans or, or fans from, from the wrestling side of like, why why is she doing this? Who is this person? What is she hoping to gain from this? Uh, yeah, they don't, they don't understand. Uh, well, but I feel like the, uh, the majority of the people that I feel that they don't get this uh, wrestling uh, career is because um, they never like me. <laughs> I feel like they never like me. And no matter what I do, no matter uh, what I decide to do, if it's not uh, uh, what they are expecting me to do, they're never going to be happy. But like some people respect it. Some people just like, okay, I, I feel like it fits you. And other people like, oh, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Like if you're doing something that I'm very uh, like passionate about too. Uh, and so it's divided, but I feel like at the end of the day, is what it matters is how I feel, what I want, and how, what makes me happy. I think that, um, you know, coming from reality television, there's always going to kind of be detractors from that. But there's a lot of crossover when it comes to reality television and wrestling. Um, so it does, it is unfortunate that people are just going to going to see it a certain way. But again, I personally have been very excited about everything. Any advice that you have gotten from whether it be from the reality side, whether it be from the, the wrestling side uh, from wrestlers, any advice that you've gotten from them? Yes. Like uh, when I was doing the NWA, uh, every time that I was getting to the ring, uh, like Jazz, she was my agent. And there was little things that she was like, oh, you need to work on that. And it was funny, even the way she was saying it, uh, it was just when I take a bump or things like that. And it helped me a lot because I, I'm the kind of person who absorbs everything, all the positive things, because those are the kind of critics that you need and that you are expecting people who like, oh, you know, you they can see my uh, me wanting to do this right. So they're helping me a lot to uh, to get better in the ring. So Jazz, Mickey James, all these big people, uh, the owner of NWA also have given me so many great advices. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. And of course I'm busting my ass. I'm working very hard to make this like, uh, to become better in the ring and to show people that I'm, they're really like this and I, and I wanna make this work. 
How did the NWA Empower appearance come about? Uh, that whole segment, I mean, you shared the ring with Awesome Kong and, and Gail Kim. I mean, two two absolute legends right there. How did all of that come about? Uh, well, I feel like it being, being who I am, I, it helped me. But also the fact that I, I have proved myself that I, I'm doing this because I really want to, not just because I want to put my name on the wrestling world. Uh, I, they have seen my progress. Like uh, it was Mickey James who contacted me directly. And she, uh, uh, I think it was her manager who talked to her and told her, hey, look at this girl. She's from 90 Day Fiance. She's into the wrestling uh, now. And she's actually very good. So she looked at me and like and she reached out to me, she reached out to my manager and I was like, oh my gosh, I was looking for an opportunity like this to show that I that I can do this. And it just came to me and I, I still can't believe it because it's amazing. I feel like they opened the doors for me and and I'm coming back. <laughs> so <laughs> it's awesome. So I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm so proud. And like, I know that this is just the beginning, but I'm very grateful that they reached out to me and and I got this opportunity. You mentioned you're, you're coming back. They have hard times in December. You're going to be on that show. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. I'll be on that show. I'm very. I'm so excited when they call me back. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm really grateful, and I've been training very hard, and I've been like giving all what I have in the ring. So I'm preparing myself for what is coming on December. What was uh, that that first time in the ring like? You know, because hitting those ropes, ta- taking that first bump, I-, I know it could be a little rough. So, what were you feeling that that first time in the ring? Uh, oh my gosh! Like uh, the first first time, uh, I was very nervous. I feel like uh, uh, it's it's like hard for you to actually uh, do it yourself and just go and fall <laughs> and just hit the mat. Like, uh, but I don't know. My coach at that time thought that I was not coming back. They no, she's too girly. She's not gonna be able to come back. And like what happened, I had an event uh, that week, so I wasn't able to come that week. So I gave like motives that I was not coming back. But now I came back and I trained for a year before I did my debut. I did it secretly uh, for a year. And, uh, and yes, uh, I, I don't regret it. I really love this. I have so much passion for wrestling that I wish I knew this before. <laughs> when when did you kind of get into wrestling? When I got into wrestling, oh wait, 2020. I started okay. on 2020. I started training on 2020. And then what happened with like, uh, with all the, the things that happened in the world. And so I have to stop, but I came back to train. And, and so... But yes, I've been preparing myself. Like I try not to post everything on social media. I believe in all of these energies. So I try to keep it as a secret. Uh, but yes, I was I was keeping my bruises. Like I have so many bruises in my back. And uh, my back was so sore, like hitting the like running the ropes and get, like oh when you're not used to I have like lines of bruises on my back. It was it was yeah. oh wow. I, I even have some videos too, like I was documentary like and I, I haven't posted anything like that, but I wanted to keep it like, a, oh, I went through all of that to be able to be what I am right now. You mentioned that you, you got into kind of training everything in 2020. Were you a fan growing up? Uh, you know, growing up, did, did you watch anything? No, really. Uh, I didn't know about it. I, I, I thought a Hulk was the guy from a movie <laughs> because he was very popular. And like, and that was the only guy, like Hulk. And I was thinking there was like this boxer. And I thought that those kind of fights were like real. So uh, that kind of scared me a little bit. But it was never into like, it, it's not popular in Colombia. I grew up in Colombia and I moved here about eight years ago. And even though like my husband was not, we never talk about it. Like it was never until like a page documentary that I watched. And I'm like, what? Wow, this is wrestling. I want to try this. I want to do it. And I did. <laughs> so, so the page was it the documentary or the the fighting with my family movie that the fighting with everything? my family? I I, I okay. heard that it's kind of like her documentary slash yeah. movie. Yeah. Yes. So, so that's what really kind of kind of sparked everything for you. Yeah, they show me because you go to the uh, to the training center in the NXT and you show how they this work and like I like to be pushed. Uh, like I'm a I'm a personal trainer also, and so I push people and I try to to push them to the like 
to their maximum because I know that they can do a lot. So sometimes I feel like I need that too. And, and I saw all those things, I'm like, I like it. And that's what my coach is doing right now. He really pushes me very, very hard. Like Loki, he's my coach now. And wow, the training is super, super intense. So I really like that. So you, you mentioned you're training with Loki. How much do you know about his background? Oh, wow. Well, I've been investigating him. When I met him, <laughs> when I met him, I didn't know anything about him. Uh, I saw him. He was coaching someone uh, while we were uh, in the camera. And so I, was, I didn't know. And someone was like, do you even know who he is? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and like he was like, oh, he's an amazing uh, wrestler and, and also coach. And I'm like, oh, well, I want to meet him because like I, I like to learn from people. And so I, I got to meet him, but but I met him in like one class uh, that he did privately, and wow, that was very intense. But like, but I liked it, and he saw in me like I'm not afraid uh, of like trying new things, and I have this fire in the ring, and so that's why until today we are working together. Like he's my coach. So ha- have you watched any of his previous matches? Because he. He goes all out and he will he will hit people pretty hard. Yes, yes, I have seen it. He sent me some stuff sometimes. Oh, those kicks! Those I I told him I told him you need to teach me those kicks and I'm going <laughs> to learn them, but in my way. Like I, of course I'm not gonna steal his uh, his move, but I want to learn some stuff similar to that. There you go. Uh, yeah, he was. In the, in the early 2000s, he was that guy when it came to offense and, and strikes and everything. So if you take anything away from him, the kicks, just kicking people right in the face. I'm like, definitely... Yeah, I, I'm like, every time I watch his stuff, like I admire him and I feel like I'm so glad that I'm training with him and he pushes me very, very hard. And that's what I, sometimes what I need. Uh, and this is like very advanced classes, but uh but it's amazing. Like I like I like the adrenaline. I like and we, we don't only train like wrestling. We we do a lot of MMA. MMA with him. Like it's a, it's a combination of everything because uh, he, the way he teaches is completely different. I would believe um, it's very like self defense too. I believe it, it's just it's a little bit of everything. So that's why I like it. What's the aspect that you kind of enjoy the most? Is it the striking or the the grappling or? You know any any type of high flying stuff? Have you come off the top rope yet? Oh yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. Like I did it. Like I did the, the on the third rope. I did a dive, first time ever. That was a, a that was the main event with the ARW. We did it for Five TV, and it was with Jazz. We were in a tag team with Jazz, and I was like, oh, first time on there, and my gosh, that was taller than I thought. That was higher than I thought, and I'm like. Okay, I'm committed. I'm going, and whoop, I died. And I was like, huh, "Okay, I did it." I, I feel like I'm not afraid to try new things, and I want to like I want to prove myself in the ring. It's like a it's like a self challenge, and but I like everything about wrestling. Like I know my limits. I don't want to do crazy uh, things that my body can. Like I'm not used to, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff. That's that's for sure. I'm bringing more stuff. I'm so excited. <laughs> you mentioned Jazz, Mickey James. You've also shared the ring with, with Allison Kay, who is another well-respected veteran. Anybody out there that you you got your eye on of like, I'd like to either get advice from her, train with her, or get in the ring and mix it up with her? Uh, well, I more like with with Jazz. She also invited me to uh, to Texas to to train with her. So I was like, I'm trying to plan a trip to Texas because uh, like being trained by her, like, oh my God, it's, 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 it's amazing, you know? It's so respectful and like these icons, like I feel so uh, so blessed that I have that opportunity. Uh, but like, I'm gonna get to, see, I'm gonna get to see Mickey James again. And of course, the, every time that I get, the, I get to meet with these amazing women, they, they always give me advice. And, and I, I mean, I'm always like, I'm always focused on everything because I'm like, I'm not expecting that people tell me everything, but I'm just focused and I'm absorbing everything that I see uh, that can help me in my career uh, and to get better in the ring. Now, NWA is kind of known for for the promos and everything and reality television, you're playing yourself. When it comes to, to promos in NWA, have you gotten any advice or any coaching on sort of what to do in that aspect? So, uh, Billy, uh, he loves, uh, like, I, I feel like uh, the idea of, like, me being this Latina, I don't use it as much. So, uh, he he told me to uh, 
to speak more in Spanish, you know, to, because I feel like it, when in English, it's not the same that when I actually speak Spanish, I feel like I, I have more personality in Spanish. So they can see that. And he told me like, yeah, you should be, you should be able to speak more Spanish and show that personality to the public because I want to show who you are. And you want to show that Latino side of you. And, and, and yes. And even like Loki, he always tells me that like to bring that Latina because, and that's even, that's why I changed my hair color too, because I do feel like uh, it, it brings more my personality and I want to bring that in the ring. Now, when it comes to your, your on-screen persona, obviously coming from reality television, we mentioned the detractors. Have you, do you think about like leaning into that? To I mean, you already kind of play play a heel on television. So do you try to lean into that a little bit more? Yeah, I'm a heel on NWA. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, and I'm like, it might as well, right? Why not? There are already people who hate me. They just give them a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I feel like... It, I, I, if people hate you because they want to hate you, they don't know you. Um, and that's what they like. I, I made mistakes on the show. I did things that I'm not proud. But even if I apologize, they don't care for that. They don't care for an apology. They're just looking for a way to hate on you. Things that have happened in the past, um, that they still hate on me. And they are still dwelling on that while everybody involved already move on. So it's, 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 it's impossible to fight with that. So might as well I just play the heel everywhere. But... <laughs> But like I don't know, it, it doesn't matter. I just want to feel like a, a like I want to bring more of my personality. Either way, I'm a sassy person. I speak up my mind, and I think that gets me in trouble sometimes. But it's not that I'm a bad person. I'm just. <laughs> I just do whatever I want. <laughs> I, I think anyone who has seen the show know that you, you have you have some fire to you and, and you have some sass to you. Yeah. That, it's definitely come out on the show. Um, what are your overall aspirations when it, when it comes to wrestling? Do you see yourself in an AEW or a WWE at some point down the line? And I feel like it, it's hard to tell. Like uh, I have seen that they have been releasing a lot of people from uh, WWE and I don't even know if they're actually bringing people in <laughs> so but i'm taking everything slowly i'm preparing myself uh they have amazing talent in all of these companies so i want to be i want to take my time to learn um i'm preparing myself i feel like uh i haven't reached out to these companies yet uh i i feel like i want to wait a little bit i'm not sure what i want i i try not to think about it i feel like whatever is going to be for me is going to come to me uh and either if it's WWE, NWA, uh, AW, Impact, it, it's just, it, it's going to meant to be. I don't want to force it. And I just want to wait and see what happened with, with all of that. Paul, when is your uh, next upcoming bout? Uh, I think I'm have a upcoming trip to uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, it's going to be my first international uh, trip, but I want to wait until I have my tickets to announce it because I don't like to, como se dice en español, no me gusta enseñar el caballo antes de comprarlo. I'm trying to find the translation for that same, but you don't want to buy this, the seat of the horse before buying the horse, right? So, uh, yes, it's like that. I want to wait, but I have upcoming matches that in December, which is with NWA in Atlanta. And I'm looking forward for that. It's a big event also. Uh, also, I have the 19 with ARW in Orlando. And uh, I, have, I need to check on that too, because like I, I have things going on. <laughs> but yeah. Where, where can people find you uh, on social media, Paola? Well, guys, you can find me on Paola underscore Mayfield and also Paola Place. Uh, that's on Instagram and also on Facebook, Paula Mayfield, YouTube, Paula Mayfield, Paula Mayfield. <laughs> are you gonna Are you gonna go back to the the red hair in December to, when you're I, back in the ring? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna keep my brunette. I think I'm gonna bring my my keep my brunette. Uh, I, I want to bring a different gear, so uh, it's going to be a little bit different. So, but I'm kind of liking it. This <laughs> and people are loving it too. I, I like. Sometimes you gotta listen to your fans, and that's what I'm doing. I'm listening to the fans, and they're loving it. This back, it's like it, it kind of bring like Paola from season one on Nine Eight Fiance. So, will was, will you bust out a toss 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 at any point? Oh, I did it like one time. <laughs> toss toss toss. I did it on a match. <laughs> Guys, you can follow her on. 
<laughs> oh, go. I'm oh, sorry about that. Say that again. Maybe I will bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can follow her on, on social media, on Twitter, at Paola Mayfield. Is Paola Blaze on, on Instagram? Yes. This okay. is, yeah, I have Paula Blaze only for wrestling updates. She will be at NWA Hard Times in December. Paula, thank you so much for, for your time today. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Guys, thank you for joining us. We'll talk to you all after a while.